I'm Mitch Petrus and this is the Big Blue View. Hey Giants fans, welcome back to another edition of the Big Blue View. I'm your host Sean Carlin. to thank you all for joining us. Here with me is New York Giant Mitch Petrus. Mitch, how you doing? Fantastic. Great to have you with us. First off, let's talk about the Super Bowl. I mean, tell me. It was an unbelievable experience. I just feel so blessed to be part of like, such a great team. You know, I know a lot of guys, they play for years and never get to go to the Super Bowl, or some guys don't even make the playoffs. So, you know, the fact that it was my second year in the league and get to go to the Super Bowl and not only go but win it is just really a great opportunity. Now talk a little bit about uh, the Canyon of Heroes, the Super Bowl celebrations, going back to Giant Stadium with the Lombardi Trophy. That parade, I've never seen more people in my entire life. Never. I was, it, my jaw was dropped. They're screaming at me, you know, probably looking at me saying, what's wrong with that guy? Because I'm sitting there going, you know, like I, I was never seeing so many people. You know, look up and these skyscrapers and they got, you know, shredded paper flying out, toilet paper, you know, there's like, actually like toilet paper tornadoes in the wind. It was like so, it was an unbelievable experience. I just like, you know, I'm, it just, I'm so glad we could bring a trophy back, to, you know, to New York and all the fans that we have and all the support. So have you seen your ring yet did you have any input on that all right so i don't know totally i've heard rumors and so i've seen some pictures that i guess hit the paper or something one of my friends texted it to me and i don't know if that's real or that's just a, what somebody made up but they i mean they look pretty awesome that's the truth so uh well, I, Whatever it is, I mean, I'm definitely going to be excited to get it. But uh, uh, I'm hearing big things, so I'm, I can't wait to get it. You're coming up behind guys. I mean, this is your second year, as you mentioned. You're coming up behind guys like Sean O'Hara, David Deal, right. Kareem McKenzie. I mean, how have these guys been in helping mold you into uh, a New York Giant and as an offensive lineman? Well, I couldn't, been, I couldn't have been more fortunate, you know, from the situation I came into was that we had a veteran offensive line, guys that knew what they were doing and were good at it, and uh, and they weren't scared that you were going to take their job. They didn't come in and say, well, hey, he plays my position. I'm not going to tell him anything. These guys were confident and secure, and knowing they, they're good. They know they're going to play, so they didn't mind helping out the younger guys. And so that's why I was any, – any information they, were, they would give me, I'm soaking it up, and that's really, you know, has a lot to do with, you know, my, my success in the field is because those guys, you know, shared with me, at, you know, as soon as I got in. I really appreciate it. Now, what do you consider your natural position on the line? Um, anywhere. Well, you know, I haven't haven't played much tackle, but I definitely wherever they need me, I can even play a little fullback in the backfield, tied in on goal line formation, even a fullback, anything like that, kickoff return, anything you need, wherever you need me, I'll be there. Yeah, he's a jack of all trades. <laughs> now, more you can do. The we don't know right now where Kareem McKenzie is going to land, if he's going to be with the Giants. I mean, the, they, the Giants have said he could shop around, but he hasn't signed anywhere. I mean, this could leave an opening on the line for you to walk in and, and fulfill. I mean, it's going to be a highly competitive training camp. Wouldn't it be? Definitely. It's going to be probably the most competitive training camp from an offensive line standpoint since I've been here. And, you know, it's just uh, – it's, but it's a great opportunity. It's all about seizing the moment. I mean, the Giants – had one of the hardest schedules out of anybody in the NFL last year. Who, in your opinion, that you faced was the hardest defensive line that you had to go up against? That's a tough question, you know, and uh, I'd have to say I'd have to go with Dallas and San Francisco from because you got Demarcus Ware in Dallas and Hatcher that are two great premier pass rushers, and then with Jason Smith and Alden Smith in, in San Francisco, you know, it, it's a hard defense, you know, to pass protect on, and they have they all, they're really good at getting a, a rush at the quarterback. So um, that, I'd say that's the, that was our two biggest tests of the year. Now, not only do you rock on the field, but you're also rocking off the field as I like well. That. So let's talk a little bit about music. Right. As a musician myself, we've got to bring it up. All right. So yeah. uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, off-field activities. Well, um, in my spare time, I like to play the guitar, and I'm actually in a band, and we're pretty serious with it, you know, you know, whenever we're not playing football. So uh, we had a short off season, which was a great thing, but <laughs> we had uh, my band, that we've actually uh, got a demo out, and we're on iTunes now, and people can go on, and you just go on iTunes and search Mitch Petrus or Viking of the North Atlantic, and they can go and download our, our demo and you know, decide for yourself. Now, what are you playing in the band? I play the bass. I play guitar normally, but these guys are real talent. So when you're forming a band, they, you know, they, how you decide who plays the bass is you look at say, hey, who's the worst guitar player? <laughs> you're playing the bass. So that's me. <laughs> now, you guys, do you, do you gig or what, what's the story with that? Here's well, we were planning on playing gigs this this, uh, this off season, and the deal is, is that. 
well, it's been really short, so we're ready to play, but uh, or, you know, open up for somebody. So we've got you know about seven songs right now, but we're actually this week tomorrow, my band's coming up here to New Jersey. I'm going to record five songs and get half of an album done in this next week. So I'm really looking forward to that. Nice. And you guys play what kind? Kind of? It'd be a, 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 a alternative or. Uh, Mid grain rock, I'd say. You know, it's a, it's a. We don't scream, but it's got a heavier tone to it. Nice, nice. So, would there be a mosh pit, or would there not be a mosh pit? Okay. <laughs> With the rip, it's a good, you know, a good. It, it potentially, but there's no screaming. I, I, uh, I think. <laughs> Personally, as a musician, I think screaming totally messes a song up. I'll, you know, intros of songs, I'll be, oh, that's, this sounds good. And somebody gets on there and you can't understand one word. I don't believe that's music. So we sing and uh, I don't sing, but <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> but no, we uh, we have a good singer, and, uh, and but we also have a heavier tone. So I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm really happy with our sound and I believe in it. All right, so you got good things going on off the field. you got good things going on on the field. And where do you see the Giants this season? Hey, right back on top. There's only way to, one way to be, and that's number one. So I'm looking forward to it. And you're still all in, right? All in. All, all in. in. All in all the time. Mitch Precious, New York Giants, thank you for thank your time. Thank you so much.